I've already snuck a piece of bacon. So have I. Oh. So we're back to even amounts of bacon. Even amounts. <laughs> It is breakfast time, as usual. <laughs> it's really actually breakfast time, so. Yeah. It's even morning and stuff. Yep, yeah, here we are back at Illini State Park. Doing it. We can never get enough of this place. Uh -uh. It's park. I've already snuck a piece of bacon. So have I. Oh. So we're back to even amounts of bacon. Even amounts. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, yeah, we've. Uh, I suspect that we are going to eat all of the bacon. Bacon, for well, sure. Well, like, like that's a no-brainer. But, anyways, um, we've been talking about uh, the fridge and uh, stuff. What we have done to it, and we're gonna show you that in this video, basically, um, to it to uh, actually help cool it down when there's the heat and humidity. We have been actually messing with it for over a month now and yes, the temperatures are perfect um, with these fans. So take a watch, um, see what I did. Um, I'll have some of the parts and stuff that I used in the description below. But it's been well worth it for us. It may not be for everybody you know it's just one of the things you're gonna have to experiment so for us like I said it's done good so check that out we're gonna grab some breakfast here we're gonna start off our day we've been actually doing really great the breakfast is just looking too good so I'm gonna hang up this camera and uh, we're gonna eat so we'll check you later. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about what we're doing um, our refrigerator. We've noticed some issues uh, going on with our refrigerator and it's actually when it's really in the hot humid days um, what we're going to do is we're going to add some fans to the outside of the refrigerator compartment at the very top to disperse some of that heat out I picked up a few odds and ends here off of Amazon. Um, one of them is being a switch, just a uh, blue LED lighted switch. And then uh, we got some hefty fans. We've got two. Pretty darn big. Um, these are 200 millimeter fans. Coolmaster Silent. They're blue LED, they are a 12 volt fan. Also, um, I did pick up another item that isn't gonna be here yet. It's uh, gonna be taking one more day, um, which is a temperature controller, uh, which we're gonna wind up putting on the outside. And we'll kind of talk about a lot of that as we go on. Basically, I'm not gonna wind up showing you me running the wire and stuff. Uh, pretty pointless how to get that done. Um, I will include a document that has the wiring diagram of how everything's hooked up. Um, first thing I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to take out the microwave. Plan where I'm going to put this LED. I'd like to put it close to the fridge if possible. So that all we have to do is just turn it on. That light's on. We know the fans are running. Most campers have fan in their back of their fridge. Our model of the fridge does not have one of them fans. Uh, it's an optional thing. I've looked everywhere to see where one of them fans were. It's not on there. I'm not going to go really messing with the wiring on the fridge to find out how to wire this up. I'm just going to basically add, do an add-on. 
Now they do make a kit. Uh, Beach Lane makes a kit, and I'll put an Amazon link in the description below. Um, you can also pick that up too if you don't want to do it this way. Um, my way could be a little bit different than than just getting that, which may be a little bit easier, and I'm not sure what the price is. Um, I picked up the fans for about 18 bucks, the switch for about nine bucks, and this temperature controller for about nine bucks. So we're gonna kind of do it my way and see if it works. It's gonna be kind of trial and error. I I've seen other people do trial and error videos of building things. You know, hey, it's kind of it's it's like a maker thing. You know, if you have some knowledge behind it, try it. It might work. Um, so I'm gonna try this, see if it works. Which I we've been doing some tests on things, but anyways, anyways. Um, we've been, I've been kind of looking at a couple spots where to mount uh, the switch. Basically, what the switch is, it's basically a master switch. It will be used to turn it off when we don't need it. And I'm going to be looking at them times probably in the spring, cool months, and uh, the fall. Around them times. Um, during the hot, humid days, yeah, I want this thing to run to at least help keep the fridge cool, of course by dispersing that heat out, which we'll talk about that here in a little bit. So, in other words, I've been thinking about you putting a switch in the center here, or the top, or the bottom. I really don't know, so I think I better go get some extra advice from Mitzi before I put something somewhere and I can't fill that hole. So, because we're talking about, this is an inch and an eighth, um, so we're going to drill a hole in here. So we're going to use a butterfly bit, and then we're going to route the cable back in here, which goes down into the fridge compartment right over that way. Uh, I've got I've ran some wire before for when I did the, um, the hot water heater switch move. If you need to see that, check a different video um, link maybe up at the top here. If I forgot to put it in, just look for the hot water, suite, uh, hot water switch uh, on A-Frame Daydream. You'll find that. Because that's like the uh, the hot water switch that is on the same one that's at the bottom of the dinette area. We didn't take it out. We just bought a new one and ran the wiring over. But that's on a different video. Check that out. So back to this. I got to go talk to Mitzi, see what she wants to do. Once I get her approval, I will let you guys know. All right. So... I've already got some blue tape on here. Talked to the wife. She said we're okay centering it right in here. So what I've done is I uh, got me the old trusty tape measure because I don't want to screw up. Try to get this as close as I can to the center. Um, if it does happen, you'll be off. Usually I'm off. So I'm showing about an inch and three quarter. And then I got four and a half inches. So we're going to get um, the math figured out. We're going to drill a hole here. I've got the bit. It is a inch and an eighth that fits this hole. I'd rather drill this hole out than to drill this little guy out. This is going to be a pain in the butt if I had to drill this out. So it's a small hole. You don't get much of a lip on it to... I need a little bit of play, and I'd hate to screw it up. So, let's get started. All right, we made a mess. I'm gonna have to clean it up. However, holes drilled. Let's double check everything. Uh, reason why I put the blue tape on is so we didn't wind up scurrying a lot of the um, trim work and stuff like that. But paneling here, Let's see how things came out. Looking good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I gotta get this mess cleaned up. She is not gonna be happy. See how the uh, the trimming fits in that. If anything, 
I recommend sandpaper. It looks like it's going in in my case. Just need it worked in. It's kind of a wobble method. Okay. Rocker switch is. There's a label on it that says rocker switch. I think it looks pretty good there. So I am uh, going to continue on. I got to get some wiring ran and then uh, we'll pick this up uh, here in a little while. Well, hey guys, we're going to take a look at this fridge outside compartment here so we can show you what we have done to get the fans in here. Um, like I said, they are 120 millimeter fans, so they are rather big for the compartment. So let's get this thing opened up real quick here. I'm going to use a screwdriver to get this open because normally I try it with my fingers and I feel like I'm going to rip my finger off. So this isn't going to be the easiest. I will admit that while I'm actually one handed. So. Here are our fans to let that heat off of that back of the uh, refrigerator. So what it's doing is it's actually the fans are blowing out so any of that heat is dissipating out. The bottom is uh, going ahead and sucking in that um, cooler air. So I'm real quickly going to get this put back in. I really wanted to quickly show you also the inside of the fans, which I did not show you just a little bit ago, which is how they're mounted onto the um, vent cover and also how they're getting their power. So we went ahead and just put some screws right there, some zip ties in through the vent. And then the power is what I have right here in my hand basically from a computer these are actually pretty much big computer fans and then um, since I'm an IT technician I wound up just um, we had an old computer laying around so I wound up stealing the uh, one of the power supplies and just wired it in and then down in the bottom compartment we have a 12 volt um, line running from the battery with an inline fuse and then from there, everything comes out to the switch. The auxiliary from the switch goes ahead and powers these fans when it's on. And then the fans are running. We are down here in the bottom bay, which I said I've got the electrical lines being ran right down here. Here's the, one of the powers. Here's our negative and positive that goes up to the switch. Here's the inline fuse. Um, other than that, the connection just runs right here, then goes straight up on the inside. And normally this is where a fan would be if there was one, so double check to make sure you don't have one there. I mean, you can always check to see if you have one there and then just hook onto it um, for doing the same purpose that we did. That's a small fan in there for this big compartment, so that is your choice if you want to change that out and do that. Or maybe upgrade that fan that's in there. Also, there's the beach lane levelers, or excuse me, not levelers, which we've got to keep the trailer level for the fridge, of course, but beach lane also makes a fridge kit with fans. Check in the description down below. We'll have a link to the Amazon um, page for that. So yeah, at night we get a nice little blue light that comes out of there. So uh, we definitely know when that is running at night. And like I said, you know, it's one of them things. You may not need this, or you may need this. In our case, we need this. Uh, being in central Illinois, we do deal with a lot of heat and humidity. The humidity is, of course, what is killing us when it comes to the fridge. But, like I said, it has been one of the best things ever for us. So guys, if you could, please... Like this video, share if you know somebody that has an A-frame that probably could use something like this. In other words, guys, we will check in the next video. And once again, we are just enjoying another beautiful weekend of camping up at the Lion Eye State Park. So let's just kind of pan around here. 
quite a few campers. And then along with that, we've got ourselves another A-frame. There should be an A-frame right over in that area. We happen to know them. So, Bruce, Alice, if you guys happen to watch these, hi. In other words, enjoy camp. We'll talk to you later.